All right, Shalom, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka Kodesh. I want to give double honors to my elder apostles at Great Millstone, GMS, the House of David in New York, that ruled very well. Shalom to all of my elder apostles at Great Millstone who I hold in high esteem uh, and who are the leaders of Israel. All right. Shalom to my elder apostles and shalom, shalom to the sincere Akim, the brothers that are scattered all over, you know, the four winds of the earth scattered, uh, teaching the gospel week and and week out on the highways and byways making your calling and election sure and working out your own keyword your own salvation all right shalom to all of you brothers and um shalom to you sisters the aquath that uh support the men of gray millstone and uh you know you you continue to stay strong stay in prayer and continue to fight the good fight all right stay strong this is um shemaya doing a quick video on the series, the series of that I put up every now and then, every two weeks, every other week, one video on Yahweh Shai, focus, focusing in on um, my big brother, all right, who I love, who's my savior, and our savior, my king, your king, all right, my big brother. All right, Yahweh Shai. I'm doing a video today on when he was on the scene, when he was walking on the earth teaching, and when he came to die for his people, for Israel, the 12 tribes, not everybody. Christ, who you know is Christ, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai came and died for his people. All right, he did not die for everyone. He, he died only for his people, his kin, his brothers. All right. Um, let me start in the book of Matthew. And he is a so-called Negro from the tribe of Judah. All right. It is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah concerning nothing. Let me get that really quickly. All right, I wanted to um, get this here. Book of um, Hebrews 7 and 14. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah, of which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning priesthood. So Yahweh Shai is my king. He is the so-called black man, um, a nigger, niger. Um, a lot of you people love uh using that word Christ and you love saying that he died for everyone that's disrespecting what he stood for when he was on the scene on the earth when he came to die for his people that is disrespectful for you to say he died for everyone and he didn't die that's like uh you saying well, Michael Jordan played for the whole NBA, which he didn't. He played number one for himself. He played for his team. He played for his coach, his teammates. Okay? He did not play for the Wizards. He didn't play for the Sixers. He did not play for the Miami um, Heat. He did not play for the Utah uh, Jazz. He did not play for the LA Lakers. He did not play for the uh, Seattle Supersonics. He didn't play for the New York Knicks. You understand what I'm saying? He did not play for the NBA. He played for his team himself. Yahweh Shai came and he died for who? His people, his team, his brothers. 
he didn't die for everybody. A matter of fact, the brothers that he died for, because he died for all of Israel, but to be but to be more specific, he died for the elect, um, which is in the book of John. I might get it, I may get it, but right now let me focus in on these two scriptures. Yahweh Shai only came and died for the one forty four thousand, the elect. And this is not taught in churches. Now, why isn't it taught in the church? And why isn't it taught in the church about repentance? A lot of you said, I repented, I repented, I repented. Repenting of what? I've been trying to figure this shit out for the longest. When have you repented? You ain't repent. Let me get the uh, two scriptures in and I'm going to be very short. Because I talk too much. And I hate the sound of my voice. I really hate the sound of my voice, all right? I don't like talking just to be heard. I like to bring out precepts and facts. Book of Matthew 20 and 28. Even as the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto. Let's look up that word ministered. We're going to look up words today. Ministered. It gives me. Okay. You know, to become, you know, to, 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 to serve. He came to serve you people, all right? Yahweh Shai didn't come to be ministered. So he came to serve you, to teach. That's what we're doing. But you have women. You have men. Let me just get on the women. You have women, really quickly. Let me get on the woman and man, but the woman first. The woman. Oh, G Jesus is my man. You filthy the animal. You filthy the animal. The black woman always say that. But you wouldn't be able to live in the house with Yahweh Shai. You're filthy. You're wicked. You're unclean. We are unclean. All, un all of us right now are unclean. Israel, all right? For you saying that's your husband, you're disrespecting our Lord and Savior. And you're disrespecting yourself. And then you say, um, stay prayed up. How are you going? How, oh, man, I tell you, these people. How the hell are you going to stay prayed up when you don't know how to pray? You people be asking for material. You're not asking to get out of here. Why did the Son of Man come? To save that which was lost. We're lost, right? Who lost? His people. They don't know how to pray, repent, read, break down scripture. All they know is, thank you, Jesus, for this Big Mac. Thank you, Jesus, for this McDonald's McChicken. Thank you for this cheesesteak. Thank you for this, this, this pussy I'm about to get. Thank you, Lord, for this, this, this dick I'm about. This the way you men and women talk out here. Disrespecting the Lord. Talking about my... My, my prayer has been answered I got a man I got some I got some penis you, you women are bugged the hell out Don't even understand That um Yahweh Shai came to die for you Your body is not your own body You can't be telling us men of the Lord That you already repented And then you like to argue with us Like when we teaching And we're telling you when did you repent? Because you will say that you're saved. No one is saved yet, brother, sister. No one is saved yet. No one. You are saved. They that endure to the end, the same shall be saved. You have to endure. Like me, I have to endure being a teacher. I have to endure catching hell in my personal life. I have to endure the things that only I can understand more of than any brother that can listen to me. Because every brother can't really understand or really understand what another man is going through. A lot of brothers say in this gospel, talk to your brother and we can talk. But as, as an older man, older, older brother, because I'm, I'm young, but I'm an older brother, right, mature as well. Certain things a man is not going to understand fully, okay? 
we all have our own walk. We all go through certain things that other men are not going to understand. Certain men cannot walk in your shoes. They wouldn't understand it. Some men will understand, but that's a few, few men. But it's still for you to work that out with the Most High. Because salvation is on you, not on other men to save you. You have to work out your own salvation. This ain't no joke. This is serious. So, Yahweh Shai came to teach the people. Like we men, we teach our people. The man and the woman. With the man and the woman. What do they say to us? Get a job. That's what they told the Lord. What do you think they told the Lord when he was walking on the street? He wasn't in the building. You say that he was in the synagogues. You're not even understanding why he was in the synagogues. You're not even understanding that. You're not, you don't even understand um, scriptures as far as what the Bible say when he was teaching on the highways and byways, going to different cities, going to different areas, all right, in the region. You don't understand the scriptures. You say God is in the church. First of all, the Lord is not in there, nowhere in there. He doesn't deal with the church. He deal with the men on the teaching, on the highways and byways, his men. See, you people think that this is a joke until the Lord closes everything up and we're not going to be out there teaching. Again, we're going to be ministering to you. You don't teach us. You don't know the Bible. You don't know the dark sayings and dark parables. You don't know the Bible. So how the hell are you going to teach me? You don't know the Bible. All you know is thank you, Jesus, Lord, and that damn Christianity doctrine and gospel music. Which a lot of you claim that take me to the king. Like that woman that played on um, Tyler Perry um, reality show, take me to the king. No, you don't want to be taken to the king. You might have your head cut off. Y'all niggas are wicked. Y'all wicked. That gospel music, mo most of that is wicked, demonic. Because you don't mean what you say. This is the whole point. And you don't mean well. You don't mean well when you sing gospel. When you're singing gospel music, what are you getting out of that gospel music? Are you really filled with the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit, or whatever you say? No. Filled with the Holy Demon. Because y'all got demons on y'all, man. Salakia. Yeah. I get upset at that gospel music when I um, listen to it because... Y'all not sincere, man. You don't come from a place of sincereness. You, 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 you're singing because of, sing, first of all, you're singing in vain and you're not even singing to the Most High. You're singing, you know, your songs are dedicated to money. How good I sound to make money. You people don't sing truly to the Most High and acknowledge the true and only God of, of, of the world. The, the God of our, our forefathers. The Most High gonna get y'all, man. He gonna get y'all. He's gonna get you. But to be ministered, yes, and so so that, that's the main point. He's a minister, to be ministered. Not to be, be ministered unto, but to minister. And let me look up that, if you give me a definition really quick. It says a minister in Christianity. Well, that's not what we're talking here, and that's a religion. Any religion in Christianity, it means to restrain, to hold back. Religio, all right? The, 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 the word religion, which Christianity is a religion, and the Lord is not dealing with none of that bull crap. But a minister is a person author, or, authorized, authorized by a church or other religious organizations to perform. So basically the head... Yahweh Shai being the head minister, the head teacher, the 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 master, the the king of kings, uh, Lord of lords, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. All right, so and to give his life. A ransom for many. See, let's look up that word ransom. 
You women don't look up words neither. When I try to, like, it's funny because I was trying to meet some women the last few years. I mean, I'm not going to talk personal on that, well, my personal life much, but when speaking to many women, man, they stupid as hell, man. I'm just going to be honest with you. Um, you, you, you know, women like to use words to try to sound intelligent, <laughs> smart. Your vernacular is not there. It's there, all right, but you don't even understand the words that you're using. Your vernacular is somewhat good, but you don't understand no words. If I ask a woman what does the word mean, she says, you know what it means. I ain't got to tell you. Women use words to make them sound smart, but they don't know what the hell they're talking about. Like I asked the woman, what does the word um, uh, sin mean? She doesn't know. What did, okay, what does the word revelation mean? How are you going to tell me you know the Bible? How are you going to tell me you know what, um, what marriage or sex is and you don't know? It's in the Bible. You say you know, but it's in the Bible. And you can't tell me. You don't know where it is. But you know the Bible. But you don't know what sex is. What sex, what, what, what sex translates to what is it you don't know so you can't teach me a damn thing how you people saying you repent you don't even know when you uh, 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 you don't even understand the scriptures on repentance and what it and what it and what it truly means see a lot of our people been taught Christianity but um hold on let me look it up You've been taught Christianity, re repentance. Repentance according to our God, all right, the correct way is coming back to your nationality. And when you're coming back, and when you come back to your nationality, you, re you, you repent when you go off, when you sin, because we all sin. We continue to sin, even when you repent and come back to your God. I'm talking about repenting as far as for the first time Acknowledging your nationality, acknowledging your wrongs totally before totally crossing over to your nationality, learning who you were before you got over to America, learning before you got over to West Africa, be before we had to flee into the West Coast of Africa. That's what repenting means, turning back. That's what it means, Eve. That's what it means, brother. I. Right? A lot of you don't even know what words mean. You need to return back for the Lord turn your ass back into dust. Zap, zap your ass. Because a lot of people will be zapped out here when, um, uh, when, uh, what? When martial law, when I'm, I'm sorry, Salakia. When the angels come back, and that's the next scripture I'm going to get. And this is why I talk about Yahweh Shai. But it means ransom. It don't give me a definition. Oh. A consideration paid or demand for release of someone or something. See? So he, he, he was here. He gave himself up, man. So he, 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 he came and he was a, a, um, uh, he was, he was, um, a, 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 a ransom for many. The elect to die for the elect all right um, before I get into that let me get this I love this scripture I uh, put this in I, I, I really I insert this into um, my prayer when I pray 2 Corinthians 8 and 9 For ye know the grace of our Lord Yahweh Shai My big brother Yahweh Shai That through he was rich Yet for your sakes he became poor Yeah because when he, he was a carpenter And um, this lesson is on One moment 
hold on. What is what is it that um Yahweh Shai, the living word, a holy king and a carpenter, sent down from glory, son of man. So Yahweh Shai. Uh Salakia for that app. I gotta delete that app. That app came up on there. It might it might said PH Salakia Brothers if you've seen that. I gotta delete that damn thing. I don't know why I was on the internet. I was trying to look up something and something else came up and then it saved and then it didn't um delete so I gotta delete that. I'm gonna delete that so I'm done this video. I'm not gonna delete it on this video because you have scoffers. Okay. We don't watch any porn. Alright, for for your information. <laughs> alright, I don't I don't watch 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 porn. The Lord will put your ass to death. Okay. But anyways, um let me see here. For ye know the grace of our Lord Yahweh Shai that through he was rich yet for your sakes he became poor. Yeah, because he was a carpenter sent down from glory. And I love that song by Fred Hammond. I wish that Fred Hammond was um didn't say the word Jesus in a damn song, but uh, Yahweh Shai was so humble, um, so beautiful to brothers, and and um, he didn't hold back. He was bold. So as so I, as I am, I am bold. I am bold as a lion. Um, I am. I am um, meek. I am humble. Uh, I am very thankful that. I have been given the information, the knowledge, the understanding of the dark parables and dark sayings to break things down, to teach to you, to dissect things. Like when I have a son, you have a son or a little daughter, you, you dissect their food so they can digest, they can eat the food. I love breaking down the food. I love, I love it because this gospel is, is, is. Um, a beautiful thing, beautiful thing. See a brother hit me up on Instagram, the Ak, the Akia, the Ak brother from Toronto. I love that brother, beautiful brother from Toronto. You know, always sending me things on Instagram. See, that's the thing too, brother Salakia. On Instagram, I'm on there to conversate with brothers, to uplift brothers, because I got a gift. I got a gift and I got, I got you know, I, I always showcase my gifts to the best of my ability because I, I always have down days, you know, um, but I never let that affect me teaching, nor do I do personal videos because you got men that do personal videos and I ain't got time for that shit, neither should you. So stop making personal videos, any brother out there, all right, because you have men making personal videos at a person or people. When just say their names, okay? Or they just make a personal, because I've seen brothers make personal videos. And I'm thinking, why would you be doing a video like that? Come on, let the video be edifying to the body, man. Because we all have to be edifying to the body. So we can get out of here. You have to teach for the brothers that, can't, that you can't see. Brothers that you can't see, you need to teach. Brothers just think that the brothers you see... That's the only brotherhood. No, it's many brothers that, that you can't see that are teaching. There are many brothers that are going to come in that, that are listening. You have to be understanding of that. No personal videos, man. And what I mean by personal videos, like there's an attitude with you and, you know, you, 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 you think it's about you. The videos you're making, I'm a, it's, it's, it's a personal video. The video should be edifying. I'm going to leave it at that. But anyways, he was poor. So he, he was humble and he went down to the level of the, the you know, the, the world, so to speak, as well, being poor because Yahweh Shai, come on, he's the son of man. He's the son, literally, literally, he's the son of the Most High, sitting on the right hand of the Father. And he's the king of kings. Come on now. So he was poor, sent down from glory, sent down to this filthy ass place that ye through his poverty might be rich 
Meaning, let me break this down in the spirit, man. It's hitting me right now. Let me read this. Yet for your sakes, he became poor. Yeah, he came poor, sent down from glory. Let me let me read that again. Yahweh Shai, the living word, a holy king and a carpenter, sent down from glory, son of man. Yet for your sakes, he became poor. He became poor, as I just read, you know, that was my inspiration for this video for, for my big brother, all right? That ye through his poverty, let me look that word up. And him, and, and part of his poverty, brothers, is him being sent down from glory to this filthy ass body in this filthy ass kingdom that, 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 that is of Esau and the two thirds. Because there's really no righteousness on this earth. Yahweh Shai didn't die for all of Israel. Well, he died for all of Israel, but to be more specific, he died for the one third. You understand? The one third. I pray for them. I pray not for the world. I'm going to get it at the end, but I'm getting into my groove on the main two verses I wanted to get, reach you with, all right? So he was, he was sent down from glory. And man, he died. You know, I feel like tearing up when you think about the Lord, man, sometimes because he was whipped the way he was whipped and he came down for your sake. He came down for your sake and people don't believe he's coming back for all you scoffers. The Lord is going to crack them clouds, baby. All right. And um, he's going to crack them good. But Yahweh Shai died for the one third. And um and he was sent down from glory into poverty because he was sent down to be a carpenter as well. Like, come on. Yeah, I wish I don't need to be having a carpenter job, but he did that while in the flesh. He didn't have sex in the flesh. He didn't. He was perfect in the flesh. He kept the law perfectly, but he was sent down from glory in this fil filthy body, and th which was poverty. All right, he was poor. That's part of being poor too, in a lower state. It's not all about money. Yahweh Shai was sent to be in the lower state to die for our sake. So he was sent down from glory. You follow me? Listen now. He was sent that he was sent down from glory, which on his throne to be sent down into 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 this filthy body, into poverty. All right. In his estate, that's all that is. That's all that means. He was sent down from glory in this filthy body and to be a carpenter, even though carpenters make good money. That's not the point. The glo the poor, the poverty is he him being sent down here in this world, having to hold a job like that when he is the son of man. All right. He is the king of kings. All right, now my eye is burning. Oh, boy. That ye through his poverty might be rich. What does that mean? Let's look up the word rich. What does that mean? Rich. It doesn't always involve money, brothers. You ever heard, you ever hear, so to speak, pardon me. Um, a man is rich in faith. That's in the scriptures. A lot of men can be rich in faith, right? So when men are teaching... They, have, they, they understand wisdom and knowledge You're rich in faith Right So you being rich in the faith You understand the Bible <clears throat> Salakia You understand the Bible So you're rich in faith So rich in faith is what You understand You understand what you're into You got faith in the Lord and Savior The big brother Our big brother The most high you have faith. You're rich in faith. You're rich in knowledge. It's not all about money. All right. My eyes are burning. I'm trying to hold my eyes open. That ye through his poverty might be rich. So meaning rich. You're rich, right? So that means rich. All right. Let me get this. Hold on. I think that's what I wanted to get, right? Oh, no, no. Some more. Oh man, that's Satan. Oh shit. Hold on. 
Hold on. Let me get this. Hold on. I just had it. Oh, there you go. So that's all I wanted to get on that. So Yahweh Shai. So we, the 144,000, that we might be rich, meaning the law, to keep the law, right? So that we may be brought back to the Heavenly Father. That we might be rich, meaning what? Brought back to the Most High through Yahweh Shai being the mediator. Because, see, I wasn't taught all of this 100% by my elder apostles. I'm talking about, I haven't looked at when I was younger in the faith, right? Much younger, right? When you have to break down these scriptures, the Lord has to be dealing with you. So don't be trying to break down scriptures and think that you know something because you break down scriptures incorrectly. You're going off. You're going to cause other men to go off. That's that pride shit. You brothers need to be humble and take notes and pray that you increase in the faith and learning. Because this is about salvation. This, this, this is not about who knows the most scriptures, man. Uh, precepts are not going to save you. Faith, mercy. Uh, let me get... um. All right, uh, my eyes are burning. Pardon me. Let me get um. All right, this is when Yahweh Shai was taken to the the um the Romans. Hold on, let me get this here. All right. All right. Let me get, yeah, let me get this. Verse 38. Then saith he unto them, My soul is exceedingly sorrowful, even unto death. Tarry ye here and watch with me. So Yahweh Shai was telling them to watch over, you know, watch. I'm out to pray. And he went a little further and fell on his faith faith and prayed saying oh father oh father oh Yahweh, if it be so if it be possible let this cup pass from me nevertheless not as i will but as thy will and he cometh unto the disciples and findeth them asleep see they couldn't even stay asleep as my elder apostle gabar he brought this lesson out uh, some time ago and i loved it very good lesson edifying um and um, yeah, they couldn't uh, stay up. <laughs> yeah, this flesh ain't nothing, man. And he said unto Peter, what could ye not watch with me one hour? <laughs> Verse 41, <laughs> and watch and, pr watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. The spirit is indeed willing, but the flesh is weak. See, that's why Yahweh Shai, he teaches us through these scriptures that the flesh is nothing. So, any man think they perfect or, you know, in the faith, no one is perfect. We're trying to rehearse the righteous acts. This flesh is weak. That's why we're saved through grace and mercy. It's not about rank. It's not about any of that. It's about grace and mercy. Verse 42, he went away again the second time and prayed, saying, Oh, my father, if this cup may not pass away from me, Except I drink it, thou will be done. And he came and he found them asleep again, for their eyes were heavy. And he left them and went away again and prayed the third time, saying the same words. Then cometh he to his disciples and said unto them, Sleep on now and take your rest. Behold, the hour is at hand, and the Son of Man is betrayed unto the hands of the sinners. Of sinners. Rise, let us be, be going. Behold, he is at hand that doeth betray me. And while he yet spake, lo, Judas, one of the twelve, came and with him a great multitude of swords and sitting saves, and from the chief priests and the elders of the people. Now he that betrayed him gave them a sign, saying, Whom so shall I kiss? That same is he, and hold him fast. And forthwith, and, forth, and forthwith he came to Yahweh Shai and said, Hell, Master, and kissed him. And Yahweh Shai said unto him, Friend, wherefore art thou come? 
Then came they and laid hands on Yahushai and took him. And behold, one of them which were with Yahushai stretched out his hand and drew him, drew, drew his sword and struck his servant, a, a servant of the high priest, and smote off his ear. And said, Yahushai unto him, Put up again, put up again thy sword into his place, for all they that take the sword shall perish with the sword. Think is now that I cannot pray, now pray to my father, and he shall presently give me more than 12 legions of angels. And that's the point of the video, 12 legions of angels. The 12 legions of angels, right? The 12 legions of angels. Now, you think the angels are gonna fly down here? No, they're going to come in the chariots. And Yahweh Shai is the son of man. And he is the king of kings. And the angels, he's coming back. The angels and, and, and Yahweh Shai, they're coming back. And they're going to beam up the elect and the chariots. They call them UFOs. They are not UFOs. And you know what? That proves the Lord don't want everyone to understand this wisdom and knowledge. Because why is it so hard for you dumbass people? Salah, you people out there to believe why is it why is it too hard for you to believe that the angels they are they're not UFOs they're angels you know why because the Most High don't want you to believe it he want you he want you to be he you're blinded he want you not to get it you're not going to get it because if you understand that the the UFOs are not UFOs they're the chariots of God a lot of you people are going to understand the scriptures are correct. And that, that goes hand in hand. I might do a lesson on that. You people cannot even acknowledge that the angels, they are in the sky. They're not UFOs. You know why you can't? You know why you Christians can't understand that? You know why you can't understand that? Because you can't understand that you're an Israelite. You are blinded. That's why. That's why King David said, let their, te let their table be made a snare. Two thirds of you are not going to get it. Did Israel not obtain that which he seeketh for? For the elect obtained it, and the rest were blinded. One third understood it, but two thirds didn't. All right. So, at that point, you people that can't understand about the chariots, you're wicked. And the Lord don't want you to get it because how the hell are you not going to understand the chariots? You really believe that there are UFOs out there. You really believe that there are goddamn aliens out there with big watermelon green heads. You really believe that. You're dumb as hell. You're dumb as hell. That means you're dumb as hell. Where do you work at? See, that proves. What college did you go to? Because it does not mean that... Having a, a degree or whatever does not mean anything. You're dumb as a brick. You can't understand that the chariots of God are the so-called, them so-called UFOs. You can't understand that. That's too hard to believe. Once you go in the Bible, it's in the Bible. We can break it down. Once you look at history, once you look at the, the government, the FBI, the CIA, the, the, the government that knows, but they can't tell you, NASA knows, and that's why they cut off the live feeds when they don't want you to see what the hell is going on in outer space. But anyways, he said, and he shall pre presently give me more than 12 legions of angels, but how then shall the scriptures be fulfilled that thus it must be? See, that's why Yahweh Shai he had to be humble and to be taken in by you filthy ass heathen. Y'all gonna get it too, man, you heathen. Let me get the other scriptures. This is my favorite scripture. Yeah. I'm about to wrap up in a couple of seconds. Hold on. John 18 and 36. I'm going to see if there's any more meat to it. 
any more meat to it. Hold on. My eyes are burning. All right. John 18 in uh, 30 um, death. 33. Okay. Then Pilate entered into the judgment hall again and called Yahweh Shai and said unto him, Art thou the king of the Jews? Yahweh Shai answered him, Says thou this thing of thyself, or did others tell it to thee of me? Pilate answered, Am I a Jew? Thine own nation and the chief priests have delivered thee unto me. What thou, what hast thou done? Yahweh Shai answered, My kingdom is not of this world. Key point, this is the key point that goes hand in hand with what I just read. If my kingdom were of this world, then would my servants fight. See? My servants. Eh, let that sink in. That I should not be delivered to the Jews, but now is my kingdom not from hence. See, see? So that proves the angels. The angels will fight. And it would be an easy fight, by the way, I mean. There'd be a lot of zapping. People getting zapped. Um, but let me get this real quick. So, um, verse um, 37. Pilate therefore said unto him, Are thou a king then? And Yahweh Shai answered, Thou says that I am a king. To this end was I born. And for this cause came I into the world that I should bear witness unto the truth. Everyone that is of the truth, hear my voice. Pilate said unto him, what is the truth? What is truth? And when he had said this, he went out again unto the Jews and said unto him, I find him no fault at all. Um, all right, that's it on that. One more scripture. Uh, let me see here. Let me see here. One moment. I'm going to get to the scripture I wanted to get after this. Um, okay. Let me get this here. Uh, hold on, hold on. One moment, one moment, one moment. I want to make sure I get the right scripture. There's one more I wanted to get here. Pilate said unto him, What is the truth of the Jews? I find him no fault. No, that's not it. Um, my kingdom is not of this world. Oh, okay, okay. So you have to understand America, Babylon, this earth. All right, Isaiah 61, 60, 66 and 1. Thus saith the Lord, the heaven is my throne and the earth is my footstool. Where is the house that ye build unto me? Or where is the place of my rest? And it's not on the earth. All right, this is not... This place, the Most High. See, you have to understand Yahweh Shai. He was given full control, but he had to make himself a living. He was a living sacrifice to the elect. Um. So let me get um. I'm gonna get one more scripture. And I'm gonna wrap up. Oh, let me get this. Hold on. Isaiah 66. I might as well get it, brothers. Isaiah 66. Let 
15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. See, so how is the Lord coming back with the angels, his servants, to fight? His servants to fight, they're coming back in the chariots to burn sh stuff up. Like the movie World of... What is it? World of... What is it? War of the Worlds with Tom Cruise. Verse 16. For by sword and by the... For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh. And the slain of the Lord shall be many. See? The slain of the Lord shall be many. See, the Lord is coming back with fire. And I'm about to wrap up here. This lesson was meant to be short. Book of Psalms 68 and uh, 17. The chariots of God are 20,000, even thousands of angels. The Lord is among them. See what I mean? The angels, man. The angels. I want to see the angels. I want to look up and see the angels. I want to look up and be beamed up in the time of Jacob's trouble. I don't, I don't want to be burnt in the ICBM nuclear fire, the millions and millions of missiles that will hit America uh, due to World War III. I don't want to be here. I don't want to be dying that way. I don't want to be a two-third. That's what brothers should be fearing right now. Do the work. I don't want to burn in that fire when the missiles hit America. I don't. The World War III is coming. Um, hold on. Let me see. Um, Book of John 17 and um, 9 Well Let me see here So this proves that God ain't coming back for everybody. What the hell is wrong with people? You can't accept the Most High. He has to accept you. He has to pull you in. And plus, you have you. And plus, you have to be an Israelite. You have to be a confused or an Israelite foreigner, like Robin Thicke, George Clooney, Blake Griffin, um, Robin De Niro, Brett Favre. Um, um, who else? Jason Williams. He played on the the, the Sacramento Kings. Um, OVO Forty, the producer on OVO, on Drake, on Drake, Drake label. You have to be a You have to be an Israelite foreigner to be saved. You can't. No heathen will be saved. Um. Let me see. Verse 9. I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them that, but for them which thou hast given me. For they are thine, and all mine are thine, and all thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. And now I am no more in the world, but these are in the world, and I come to thee, Holy Father. Keep through thine own name those whom thou hast given me, that thou may be one as we are one as we as we are so to be one to be one to be one you understand to be one while i was with them in the world i kept them in thy name those that thou givest me i have kept and none of them is lost but the but the son of man of perdition that the scripture might be fulfilled and now come I to thee, in these things I spake in the world, that thou might, that thou, that they might have my joy fulfilled in themselves. I have given them thy word, and the world has hated them, because they are not of the world. Yeah, because you, you, you ever notice, brothers, when you out, people look at you strange. Like they hand pick you out with their eyes. Like you can be walking on the same sidewalk as everyone, and in the same crowd, but you're not with that crowd, but they'll look at you crazy. Like, only look at you. 
You have to understand this is a spiritual battle, brother. This is no joke. Even as I am not of the world. So you're not supposed to be of this world. Yeah, you have material. Yeah, you have money, car, or cars, or, you know, motorcycles, whatever little bit of things that you may have. But this this place, you're not supposed to be of this place, meaning of their way of living, of their traditions, of their uh, wickedness, of their uh, 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 their lives. Don't be of their life. Don't be of their tradition. Don't be of their uh, holidays. You understand? So you're not supposed to be of this world. I pray not Verse 15, I pray not that thou should take them out of the world, but thou should keep them from the evil. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Sanctify them through the truth, and thy word is truth. And thou hast sent me into the world, even so I have also sent them into the world. And for their sakes I sanctify myself, and that they might be sanctified through the, the truth. Neither pray I for these alone, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word that they all might be one and thou art in me father thou father art in me and i in thee and that they also may be one in us that the world may believe that thou hast sent me and the glory which thou hast given giveth me i also given them and that thou may be one even as we are one i in them and they and thou in me that they may be made perfect in one, and that thou, the, that the world may know that thou hast sent me, and have loved them, as thou hast loved me, Father. I would, I will, that they also whom thou hast given me be with me where I am, that they may behold my glory, and thou which thou hast given me, for thou loveth me before the foundation of the world. Yeah, that means again. The Most High gave the blueprint to the, to the, to, to the Lord, Yahweh Shai, and the angels to create everything. That's why you don't understand, you Christians, you don't understand the Bible. The, the 144,000 was with the elect, Yahweh Shai, building the earth. This is very serious. All right. But I have known thee, and these have, and these have known that thou hast sent me. And I have declared unto them thy name, and would declare that the love with, wherewith thou hast loved me be in them, and I am them, and I am in them, and I in them. So, um, yeah, I think that's about it. So, um, this is one more scripture I wanted to get, but uh, I don't think it's important. Uh, let me see here. All right, I am not of this world. All right, so let me get one more scripture. All right, I'm going to wrap up after this. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. So again, let me read it again. Love not the world. Yahweh Shai, the son of man, carpenter. He didn't love the world. He hated this world. See, you niggas, a gift destroyed the heart. Wisdom and knowledge shall. Wisdom, it says, uh, uh, the gift destroyed the heart. He that getteth wisdom, uh, wisdom maketh the wise man mad, and the gift destroyed the heart. So when you, have, when you get a gift like a so-called good job, you become in mourning mode, like mourning. Not really happy, but mourning. Okay? Again, a gift destroyed up the heart. Yahweh Shai was poor, but he was a carpenter. He was mourning, being in captivity. Well, to, 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 to do what he did, he was, he was mourning. 
okay? He wasn't of this world. He didn't sin. He was perfect. He didn't go off. Not one time. He was perfect. He was made. He was, he was, he was without blame. But, but, you know, you have wicked Israelites try to pin everything on Yahweh Shai. They call him a devil. Yeah, they're going to do that, man. They call us devils. To my, y'all got demons on, yo, y'all got devils. But we ain't got no damn devils. That's two thirds. They hate the Lord. So it says, if any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. So loving the world is what? Loving concerts. Loving, loving, loving reality shows. Being extra excited over wickedness on television, which is toxic. I hope this video was out of fun. I didn't want to be long. Yahweh Shai, he is the reason why we sing. And that's spiritual. Yahweh Shai is, is the reason why we sing. Meaning sing what? This gospel. The words of the Most High. Yahweh, Yahweh Shai is the reason why we sing. Yahweh Shai is the reason why we have a chance of salvation with him being the mediator. Because our people went off and they sinned against the Most High. And the Most High always give us, you know, release us or uh, be a father. Okay? You have to understand. So, um, I hope this video was edifying. Um, I just try to cover everything. All right, so Yahweh Shai, the living word. All right. Uh, the, 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 the mediator, the reason why we have a chance of salvation. All right. So, um, the mediator, the king of kings, the Lord of lords. All right. So with that, I say, I hope this was edifying. I say, Shalom.